Hey guys, Ryan here. Thank you for joining me for a new video. It's Sunday, so you know we're doing a new top five niches of the week. Now, before we jump into things, I just wanna make a note on why I do these videos, this Sunday series specifically. Now, the most common question I get is probably, hey Ryan, like, how can I increase my print on demand sales or why aren't people buying what I'm selling? And guys, sometimes the answer is simple. Number one, you need to be selling on the platforms that customers go to, so Amazon, Etsy, Redbubble, the big ones. Number two, Instead of trying to convince people to buy random things that you just created, just cater to the existing demand. Now that doesn't mean you always need to be trend chasing. I prefer a balance of chasing trends and evergreen niches. Now evergreen niches can just be like a funny baseball shirt, funny basketball shirt, stuff that sells year round, right? Catering to people's interests. But if you mix that in with trends, you will have a successful print on demand business. Now these trends that I show you in these top five niches of the week videos that I do, these are just starting points. You don't have to go and sell the exact trend exactly as I share it. You can go and niche down, just do a keyword search on any of the platforms, Amazon, Etsy, Redbubble, wherever. Do a keyword search and then look at the various designs within that parent niche that are selling and that should get you started guys. So hopefully that clarifies things. I'm gonna go jump on my computer and we can get started. Thanks again for joining me guys. I hope you had a great weekend. Let's get started real quick. If you're not subscribed to my channel, here's a quick preview of some of the videos I'm going to be dropping this week that you can look forward to. Now I put a star next to the first one because I'm excited for this one. I was honestly just doing it for myself and I was like, you know what? I might as well make a video on this and share it with all of my lovely subscribers, but I'm going to do a video on the best selling print on demand design styles. I made a whole list of like almost 20 of them. I'm also dropping a video on how to use niche research tools. I'm going to show a couple just quick tutorials in case you are um, stalling with your niche research if these top five videos aren't helping enough. And I'm going to do a video on why you're not getting Redbubble sales. And I'm just going to use examples of people talking about Redbubble in my print on demand Facebook group because it is, again, such a common question. So I'm going to literally go to their shops, look at what they're selling and make some suggestions. I had to do a quick ninja edit there because there's actually three winners from last week's giveaway that I need to announce. Now, I don't have your first names, but I have your email addresses. There are a preview of the email addresses of the winners. I'm gonna email you as soon as I finish recording this video, so you probably already heard from me by the time you watch it. And you guys won Merch Titans Automation Print On Demand Upload uh, Tool, Merch Ninja Research Tools, and all sunsets print on demand pre-made graphics congratulations and we are doing another giveaway at the end of this video stay tuned all right real quick before we start let me introduce myself for the new viewers i'm ryan hogue i've sold over 1.7 million dollars on amazon to date if you want to follow the links in the description i wrote a free eight day print on demand mini course it is packed with value completely free delivered via email i also have a print on demand facebook group that i'd love to have you in I publish income reports. If you want to follow my progress as a print on demand seller, FBA seller, Amazon merch seller, KDP seller, YouTuber, etc., I put it all out there. Every now and then I stop to brag about the money I make on the stock market as well. I know trading stocks has been a popular thing lately, but I've been doing it since 2012. So, um, you know, I do have an investing course actually too, but it just covers the basics. If anybody's interested in learning, that is available. It is uh, very discounted but you can subscribe and follow my journey as a uh, print on demand seller if you'd like to. I also have a print on demand course over 70 lectures. I'd love to have you there. Link in the description if you're interested. All right, let's get to the top five niches. Actually, you know what? Pump fake. I just wanted to shout out Kathy and I know there's more of you guys that have been seeing a boost to your print on demand business sales from these videos, taking these suggestions and running with them. Last week's video, I suggested one niche that I knew was gonna take off. A bunch of you guys ran with it. I think it was the uh, virtual teaching t-shirt as we're heading into back to school and there's a lot of online teaching going on. For instance, I'm starting school next week with my uh, web development course at a local university. So guys, great job. It uh, definitely makes me happy that you guys are able to scale up your businesses using these niches and congratulations. All right, niche number one, this is probably gonna be niche number one for the foreseeable future, but I need to mention it because there is so many sales being directed towards this niche and what's really interesting about it, this needs to be noted, is that it's it's not like it's static. There are sub niches, like this one right here, you see this shirt right here? That was not on top five niches last week. We didn't know who Joe Biden was gonna announce as his vice president and the people who were ready for this niche smashed it guys so it's not just the same static boring oh yeah election 2020 make a shirt that says vote no there's plenty of sub niche potential all right just pay attention to the news cycle if you guys missed it i did an interview on my channel two days ago uh with dominic who 
sold a bunch of Biden Harris shirts because he was ready. He explains his whole process, by the way. He shares with us some of his exact shirts, how he attacked the trend, design styles. He laid it all out there. He did it all for free. It's on my YouTube channel. It's probably one of the best interviews I've dropped on my channel. So check that out, guys. Also, I have another friend who has, he he had the number one shirt for Biden Harris. And I think it fell to like number two or three, uh, but he's absolutely crushing it. And just saying, he is actually the uh, person I interviewed as my testimonial for my Amazon merch course. I could not make this stuff up. So if you want to go back in time to when he was in like tier 2000 or 4000 and he learned the ropes from me. And I mean, literally when we met, he actually was in my, and it's a funny story. I'm going to go on a side tangent for two seconds. He was in my web development course at the university I teach, but after we would talk web development and he would come up after class and we would just talk print on demand. And I remember he wanted to get into merch so badly. Finally, he got into merch. I gave him the merch course. The rest is history. Brian is absolutely killing it. He's in tier, it says tier 20,000. He's actually in tier 100,000 because a bunch of us, uh, a bunch of us woke up to this this week we got tiered up to golden unicorn status and we saw our upload slots just multiply by a massive number myself included but yeah this is his weekly sales i asked him to give me a screenshot so i could share it with you guys just to bring some excitement to the to to print on demand in general honestly i don't want to say to the political niche because i don't care if it's political niche or some other niche but i just want you guys to be excited about selling print on demand guys because if brian can do it if dominic can do it you guys can do it i promise All right, niche number two, and this is another uh, mainstay as far as niches go. These shirts are generating a ton of sales still, and it is the All Lives Matter, Black Lives Matter, uh, you know, social justice movement. Those shirts are still doing extremely well, so they're going to be niche number two. Niche number three. All right, this one, very similar to niche number one. However, there are so many shirts. It's not just Biden Harris, right? Like, you got to be you got to be thinking outside the box a little bit because when Joe Biden announced Kamala Harris as his running mate, it didn't just give birth to a new niche of Joe Biden, Kamala Harris 2020 election t-shirts, but it gave a massive boost to Kamala Harris t-shirts in general. I mean, anybody who's in the spotlight the way that she is, has been in the last week and will continue to be for the foreseeable future, you, you want to be there. You want to have equity in that niche. When I say equity in that niche, again, we're talking online real estate here. If you have no Kamala Harris shirts, guess how many sales you're going to get when she's announced as the VP? Zero, right? I mean, you know you know this. So just be diversified. Um, this is a hot niche right now, and it is going to continue to be. Niche number four. Now, these made their way into my bonus section recently. By the way, if I wanted to, I skipped over some niches. Like, for instance, the Pluto Never Forget shirt. That started out in my bonus t-shirts maybe five weeks ago. And then I started seeing the sales increase, increase, increase. It's now like the number four overall shirt, I think. The Pluto never forget. You know, the Pluto planet number nine that was no longer a planet. Just saying, I didn't include that this week because I talked about it last week and I want to keep things fresh. Uh, But this is another one that was very similar. I put it in my bonus niches and then all of a sudden it's creeping up into the like top 50 you know, top 30 even. I mean, there's usually one t-shirt will be the best seller. Then you scroll a little bit, find the second best seller, third best seller. But look at the BSRs here. Can you see this above my finger, next to my finger? Uh, They're all pretty good. They're all like, I mean, this is just the first row. I think I included a picture of the second row here. Yeah. So first row BSRs, 54K, 100K, 127K, 176K. Second row, 186, 173, 203, 62. Nobody's getting rich selling these shirts. However, these are making good good money. <laughs> you know what I mean? The people who are selling these have no complaints, I'm sure. They're doing quite well. Um, and, you know, I mean, people are getting fed up with the media, myself included, even though I don't watch a lot of TV. And I think, you know, I can get behind the the niche itself. And, uh, and I love that the shirts are not hyper competitive and um, they're making people money. So here we go. I ran Jungle Scout. It says low demand, low competition, but I don't really trust. You see the opportunity score here? I don't really trust opportunity score for print on demand. I'm really just interested in the daily sales, monthly sales estimates, and then the the profit potential, you know, we can figure out just based on the price point. Um, but yeah, you can see they're doing quite a bit of revenue here. So that is a good niche. 
in my book. Niche number five. Niche number five is the QAnon niche. Now, the only thing, and now, now that I just said that, by the way, I'm probably going to get this video like somehow demonetized or flagged because YouTube censors uh, absolutely hate this movement. Anyways, that is not for a topic for this video. This niche is increasing in popularity, increasing in sales volume week over week. I'm seeing more and more of these shirts creep up into the upper ranks. So if you're looking for a niche to attack, this one is rising in popularity, not fading. One thing I'd say about it though is like I've sold some QAnon movement shirts before on Redbubble and Redbubble started removing them. And I know I've seen people saying that other platforms were removing them as well because well, I'm not, even, I'm not getting into that actually of, as of why, but when you see that, that can serve as a canary in the coal mine. And if I start seeing shirts get removed from Redbubble, I get smart. I start deleting them from Amazon because I don't want to run the risk. I'll delete anything from my merch account, my seller central account, uh, KDP. I don't usually see too many takedowns, so I don't worry as much about that. Anyways, niche number five, this one, there's still potential to make some sales as well. Just be careful. All right. Looking ahead, August 21st, if you want to go after some date specific, uh, Sales niches, August 21st, Spumoni Day, August 28th, Bowtie Day, August 30th, Frankenstein Day. Notice Frankenstein, you can get creative. You don't just have to sell generic Frankenstein t-shirts. September 2, Labor Day, September 4th. Ooh, I like this one. Extra Dessert Day. Yes, sir. Sign me up for that one. All right, bonus t-shirts. Now, I these ones, I couldn't help myself. So I did, a, I did an anti-Trump shirt. And I did an anti-Biden shirt because honestly, it's feeling more and more like the election is is more or less the uh, who do you hate more election. So if you hate Trump more, you vote Biden. If you hate Biden more, you vote. I don't know. I'm just saying that's just from my outsider perspective. I don't lean left, right. I'm up, down. I'm not distracted by the two party paradigm. Uh, and it honestly is a distraction because at the end of the day, I think that they're going to do whatever it is that they want to do. That's just my personal take. Anyways, nice little funny anti-Trump shirt here. It's not just Trump sucks. They made it into a little uh, parasite related joke. Deer tick, dog tick, lunatic, kind of funny. You could also swap Trump out with anybody else there. So that has scale potential. Uh, the Biden shirt, political satire, sleepy Joe Biden. And it's like Joe Biden on puppet strings and the hand that's controlling the puppet says special interests. I thought that was funny. So I had to throw it in here. All right. Deleted designs. Let's take a quick look at what people are doing. All right, the first one, I'm guessing, you see the storm is here, guessing that's related to QAnon, so I'm, I'd am say be careful. Second one, Joe Rogan, most likely. Again, don't try to make money off people like him and his likeness. I don't know if he's technically a public figure or not, but somehow that triggered a rejection. Be careful. Uh, again, it's the balloon, not good. I, I tried to look into why the Biden-Harris ones got pulled. I couldn't figure it out. Uh, Spaceballs is a movie. Ganache, I think, is a DJ. Salvatore Ganache, I could be wrong. Anyways. Just be careful about infringing on people's rights. The Biden-Harris one, this one, I'm guessing maybe they uh, checked the youth t-shirt box or the fact that they included the word premium in there, unless that actually is a premium t-shirt. It's hard to tell from the... Oh, no, it probably isn't actually a premium t-shirt just because the mock-up looks a little bit different. So maybe they put like LGBTQ and then check the youth checkbox or something. I'm just guessing why it might have been removed. All right, giveaway number four, guys. If you're interested in entering, please use the top link in the description. I'm going to be giving away a print-on-demand mega pack. This week, we're doing Merch Titans Automation License. They recently updated their app, by the way. It's absolutely amazing. It's running smoother than ever. Uh, it's got a bunch. I mean, honestly, if you've been using it, you'll notice a bunch of improvements. If you've never used it before, pray that you win this giveaway because it's like twice as good now as it used to be. I'm giving away a subscription to Automate POD as well. So you can mass scale out designs at the click of a button. It will swap in variable text and download them for you so that you can, um, you know, fill up your upload slots easier. And All Sunsets, my go-to spot for pre-made graphics. I absolutely, I mean, I'm, I'm not just saying this. I love All Sunsets. I use them all the time. You can find a link in the description if you want to check them out. It's only $27 for an annual license. Uh, otherwise, just cross your fingers. Hope you win the giveaway. But yeah, guys, check it out. Link in the description. I will announce the winners in next week's Top 5 Niches of the Week video. Thank you so much for making it till the end. If you haven't hit the like button yet, that would mean a lot to me. Let that YouTube algorithm know that you like the video. If you're not subscribed and you want to do that, that would be appreciated. And thank you guys. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Passive income school is open. Enroll now at riotsmethod.com. Thank you.